Hello, welcome to Gemstone Tarot. It's the 15th of June 2021 and making videos when Mercury is retrograde is a real challenge. So, so far the girls are here. We've got Valentine. She's just about to fall off my chair. Are you asleep, sweetie? She's on her way to being asleep. Yeah, hi, honey. Got Valley Boo, who's kind of stretched out. And Leia's decided she now lives on that pillow. So that's good. That's going to become a thing, isn't it, sweetheart? It's going to become a thing. Um, and then I tried to pull my microphone through something and it took down my phone and the stand and everything like that, which knocked the phone onto making an emergency call. I know, which then tries to call my emergency contacts. And it goes whoop, 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 whoop. So if you can imagine, I'm sort of straining over this tarot table, going whoop, 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 looking for my microphone with my phone sideways. <sighs> then I forgot the date. Okay, but we're here. We are here. We're gonna have a couple of facts from a different book, which is imaginatively titled Fun Facts. This is by, this is a big book of fun and unbelievable facts that will blow your mind, Michael Parr. We don't know what it's like. Let's start at the beginning with a couple of facts. The Netherlands has the tallest population of people in the world with an average height of six feet. The world's most quiet room is located in Microsoft's headwaters in Washington state. The room was designed specifically to be quiet and measures a background noise of minus 20.35 dBA which is 20 decibels below the threshold of human hearing. I don't know about you, but I think I would go into some sort of weird stupor if I was in that room. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my God. Okay, I can't say that. This is, there's one here about the suburb with the longest name, which has 85 letters and it's in New Zealand, but I actually can't, I'm not gonna put you through that. I am not gonna put you through Mercury and me trying to pronounce that word. Four babies are born every single second. Hello, babies. The average person will spend six months of their life waiting for red lights to turn green. And a blue whale's heartbeat can be heard from up to two miles away. I think these are all right. We're gonna be okay with these people. We're going lucky dip. We're going lucky dip in the tarot box. Just checking I haven't got cat hair or feathers attached to my jumper. <laughs> Quite often I do that and there's like a sweet wrapper. <laughs> or, you know what I mean? Yeah, a bit like pig pen off um, Snoopy. That's me. Okay, what do we want? What do we want? Ooh. We're going gummy. Going gummy. We're going gummy, girls. We're going gummy, Val. She's like, don't speak to me. Okay. What do we need to know, gummy bears? What do we need to know, Tuesday, mid June, coming up to midsummer whatnots in the UK? I don't know, in the Northern Hemisphere? Okay, we're not gonna go hemispheres. We're not gonna do any of that stuff today, but let's just say it's mid-June. Leave it like that. Oh, I love these cards. I love these cards. Confusion, a bit of introversion. It feels a bit messy. This is a messy reading. We've got a messy gummy reading. I used to think with these gummy cards, Oh, they'll do a nice reading. It'll be all sweet and lovely and gummy and woohoo. And then they'd come out with like, you know, a whole load of harsh whatnot. And I just think, tsst. Okay, touche gummy bears. Knight of Swords in reverse. I'll show you the card in the upright. There we are. When you get the Knight of Swords in reverse, it's typical Mercury stuff. It's retrograde and Gemini. There are, you know, it's not even as simple as to say there are mixed messages when Mercury's retrograde. It's like there's just, there's a lot being said. We had got the Eight of Wands to go with it. There's a lot being said, but not a lot of sense is being made. 
you know, words and talking and communicating don't always equal an exchange of information. They don't always add to the picture. And in this case, I'm not sure that conversations are gonna add to the picture. This could be um, mis, uh, you know, misunderstandings, whatever you wanna call it, misspeaks between friends because we've also got the three of cups in reverse. I feel duty bound to show you all of them because they're so cute. We've got pumpkins in that one. Three of cups in reverse. Three of cups is friends, associates, groups, business, um, social connections. This is between you and anyone. We also have the three of swords in reverse. That bad boy has been coming up for a few days. It's this feeling of stuff that happened, stuff you said, he said, she said, they said, we said, whatever. We all said at some point and it sticks and what of it? There is a need to free yourself from mental restraints, constructs and expectations. We've got, how cute is this? The Eight of Swords, it's in the reverse. There is a need to free yourself. Um, there's too much emphasis here on what people think, on what you think, on thinking your way out of this, on thinking that if you can get more information, it will make it clearer. It won't. Um, if it was me, and it will be, because I'm talking to myself as much as you, sometimes um, you've got to go with the energies that you've got. For a long time, I thought to myself, you can't be banging on about this Mercury retrograde stuff all the time. What do you think you're talking about? It's just nonsense, blah, 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 all of that stuff. Yeah, I've kind of learned in more recent years to go with it very much to my benefit, as far as my, you can benefit. I mean, we had the whole emergency services debacle this morning, but go with what you've got. You've got this land of confusion energy. It's this whole kind of, it's in, it's in, Gemini, underneath all this sort of nonsense, there's some truths coming out, there's some truisms, there's some stuff bubbling up, but there's equally as much nonsense to go with it. This is like rumors, secondhand information. It's sometimes as well, it's talking to yourself. Examine your own personal dialogue. You know how we talk to ourselves all day? Well, I do anyway, I catch myself doing it. And not always helpful. See if you can find the silence, that whole thing about meditation, and I know that people find meditation, I'm one of those people, a real strain sometimes. And a bit like that thing we were talking about in the fun facts. The idea of going into a room which is just completely silent all the time. It's just me and my own thoughts. Not always what I want. I had a friend who said that to me. They said um, they went cycling, like a long, big, long summer cycle on the road. And they said, oh, I remember when I was a kid and like just that whole delight in doing it and the thoughts that you have in your head and all that stuff. And then they said, but when you're an adult, the thoughts you have in your head just aren't half as nice. <laughs> and you realize you're cycling, it's just you and your thoughts and you're like, I couldn't get home quick enough. <laughs> Embrace it. See if you can silence the critic and the biggest critic is probably you, okay? Wheel of Fortune, there's some good in this. You just can't see it yet. It's a bit backwards and forwards. Don't even think about where it's going. We don't know at the moment, okay? It's, it's the whole where we're going, we just don't know. Seven of Wands in reverse, Mars in Leo, the need to defend yourself, the need to get your facts straight, get your facts straight, I'll get my facts straight, we'll all get our facts straight. It won't make any difference, nobody will get their facts straight either, it just won't happen. And the Knight of Pentacles, play the long game, this will all be over soon. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just do what you like doing, do what you can do. Val's having a wash, look at that. And Val's having a mad wash. Have a mad wash. You know, do what these guys do. Sleep on a pillow, literally, for nine hours a day. 
if you can. I know things are weird at the moment. I jest. What I'm saying is don't get caught up in your head. There's no value there. There's no value coming from anybody else's head. I'm not sure in this kind of energy that dropping into the heart is even worth saying because it's a long way from the head to the heart actually. I would say go for more of a four of cups stance, an emotional neutral, a way of a way of just kind of moving into the slipstream of I don't know and I'm okay with that. <sighs> we got there in the end. Leave me a comment, let me know. I was gonna say let me know how it retrogrades. Let me know how it resonates or how it retrogrades and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Namaste.